how's it going guys once again today i'm going to be giving you my top five city tweaks at least in my opinion for the month of june 2014. my first tweak is called timely so this is a free lock screen tweak which allows you to get this awesome lock screen it shows the time in words by highlighting them as you can see it says 20 past 8 at the moment in the timely settings there are a whole load of options i'm not going to ramble on with them and make a more in-depth video for timely but the main things are that you can actually change the highlighted text color the dim text color of course whatever you want for example here i've changed mine to blue for it to stand out against the highlighted red so this has been timely and the best thing about it, that it's free on the Big Horse Repo. My next tweak is called Smart Tap, and it actually gives you the feature of waking your device up and putting it to sleep by simply double tapping on the screen, just like many Android phones out there. But one downside is that it isn't a free tweak. It's $1.99 on the Big Horse Repo. I'll leave it up to you to decide if it's worth it or not. Quick Cam is a tweak which gives you the ability to open your camera anywhere on your device without opening the app. It's a really handy tweak if you want to check how you look or something, I don't know. I actually activate mine by shaking my device. You can change how you activate it in the settings app through activator. You can set it off by triple pressing the home button, short hold on the home button, shaking your device, whatever, it's your choice. Let's talk about vintage keys, which essentially, in a nutshell, allows you to go back to the iOS 6 keyboard in specific apps of your choice. As you can see, I've chosen to have a regular iOS 6 keyboard on the YouTube app. In the settings of this tweak, you can choose which apps you want to have a different keyboard on. You have four choices, default, modern light and dark, which are the iOS 7 light and dark ones, and the legacy light and dark, which are the iOS 6 ones. As you can see here on the Amazon app, I have the legacy dark. This tweak isn't actually on a well-known repo, it's on the R Petri repo, so I'll link it in the description box below. My final tweak is called Apex 2, which allows you to stack apps, up to 4 apps on one. So for example, if I slide up on App Store, I get 4 spaces to stack similar apps around it. Another example is Amazon, if I slide down and I get ASOS, which is a similar app. In the Apex 2 settings, you can select how you access your sub apps or your stacked apps, whatever you want to call it, by swiping down, up or double tapping an app. One downside is when you swipe down on an app and it sometimes triggers Spotlight. So you can actually set the tweak to change Spotlight access by double tapping on the status bar, which is a very nice touch in my opinion. So thank you for watching this video guys, I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, smash that like button and subscribe for more high quality technology content. And as always, I will catch you in the next video.